<clears throat> All right. So I'm going to. Uh, Camera's all right. I'm going to cook. Uh, what am I going to cook? Mackerel fillet, my non-stick pan, and some vegetables. But it's mainly the um, the way I'm going to cook these vegetables that's kind of interesting in this uh, video. I'm going to cook a whole broccoli and a whole uh, cauliflower and some green beans. I'm going to cook them all. Um, all at once, and uh, <clears throat> and then I'm going to microwave microwave them to order. And what this does is is that it's a it's a really good way to make sure that you get it's a good way to make sure that you uh, sorry mine's gone blank. It's a good way to uh, very easily get a good portion of vegetables into your dinner. Because if I want to have some broccoli, cauliflower, beans, I have to boil them or steam them or whatever. But if I boil all of them, um, and then they're all kind of partially cooked and in the fridge, then I just have to take a portion, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds to a minute, and it's and it's and it's done. I invented this as well. I put these four screws uh, into the uh, edge of the chopping board. This is like a chopping block. It's just got a wee strip of wood along the bottom of it there to um, hold it in position. <clears throat> along four holes there, Pla any kind of plastic container that's nice and wide and uh, long and it just hooks over, I should have only put three screws there so then what I can do is becomes my rubbish bin keeps my work surface clear, I don't have to keep turning around to the bin pleased with that and it means that when you're chopping stuff up I'll take the tops of these off. You just push it, come and drop straight into the uh, straight into the bin. Pleased with that. I've been meaning to do that for a while. I've seen uh, Jamie Oliver. What he's got is a hole in his worktop and a bin underneath it. He just kind of chops straight on the board and just shoves stuff into the into the hole, um, which is pretty good. But I can't really have a bin underneath underneath there. It doesn't really work. So uh, what I'll do is. I'll work on this cauliflower. Mm. And you want these to be kind of just cooked and no more. Uh, you don't want to overcook them, you don't want to fully cook them, but uh, just kind of undercook them and then finish them off in the microwave Oops. go fairly small with them I kind of quite like to just cut through the stalk and then break it so when you look at it it's kind of kind of quite crinkly if you cut it all the way through you get that very flat edge it doesn't look quite as kind of rustic or nice, it doesn't really matter, but you know, I just like to do that, I like to snap it, it kind of looks a wee bit nicer than a straight cut edge. So the cauliflower is going to take a wee bit longer than the broccoli, so I'm going to get the cauliflower started, bring it to the boil, uh, let it cook for a minute or so, and then drop the broccoli in bring it back up to the boil and then it's only going to take another couple minutes they all kind of roughly the same size so they all cook at the same time
yeah, pleased with that. That's, that's a good idea. Okay, I boiled the kettle just to get things going a bit quicker. And just exactly the same with the broccoli. I kind of quite like to cut the, the bottom and then snap it at the top. Uh, I will use some of this as well. Just now. No sense of wasting the stalks. So you do all the work at this point and then over the next couple of days whenever you want some vegetables it's no effort at all. Which is a good thing obviously, it encourages you to eat more vegetables which is obviously a good thing. Mm. I'm sure if I put all these in but uh, so the ends of these are a wee bit kind of dry, a wee bit ugly looking. And yeah, I don't really like eating these wee, the wee stringy bits at the end. And I just have to cut them off. That's the thing, if something does roll off the edge, it doesn't go on the floor, it just falls into the falls into the bin but it's food so it's not too bad. I was thinking was you could have, this is quite wide, you could have two containers, one for rubbish and one for putting food into, you know, you could be scraping all this into your food and then you could be putting that into your frying pan or whatever. Okay. So all I'm going to do now plastic so you know you can give it a rinse out. You 
put it through the dishwasher as well, I think. Don't have to bother drying it. So all I'm going to do now is just wait for this to boil. Uh, I've got some mackerel. I've just got a bit of mackerel fillet. Uh, that was just a piece of mackerel that had been filleted, so it was the whole side of the mackerel. And I've chopped it into quarters. Uh, let's reconstruct it. So what all I did was is I bought the fillet like that, and all I did was is I cut down. To, when you fill, virtually, it's virtually impossible to um, to pin bone, pull the bones out with the pliers, uh, the, the bones in the mackerel. So uh, when I bought the fillet, it was complete, and all I did was just run the knife down and I let, and just cut out the bones uh, down the middle, just threw them away. So I'll just fry these four wee sections like that. So uh, I'm just going to stand here and wait in this water boiling, so I'll come back. I'll bring this to the boil. Uh, I'll bring this to the boil. Maybe wait a minute or so. 30 seconds to a minute, not long, and then I'll put this in because it's, and I'll just chuck all of this in. Um, and then bring it back up to the boil. We'll, we'll, I'll come back. I'll come back when that's boiling. Uh, let's check the time. Okay, so I got a phone call and he just kept talking. So all I did was I brought the cauliflower up to the boil and then I put the broccoli in and then I brought it to the boil again and I let it cook for we're 15 minutes in, I overcooked it a wee bit because I do get distracted by the phone call, it's a wee bit overcooked. But uh, just let it boil for 5 minutes, 4, four, four or 5 minutes-ish. 3, 4 minutes, I don't, don't know, I should have kept track of that. 3, 4, maybe 5 at the most minutes. And then I just poured it into the, I kind of just, all, it's all in there, I just poured it out and then I poured cold water into it. And then poured into the colander again, and then poured cold, more cold water into it, and then I just dumped it into the colander. So it's 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 got a wee bit of warmth in, in it, but it's um it's going to cool down in there. In fact, I might put some of it in a plastic container just now. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fry this uh, mackerel. So I've got my non-stick pan. I'm going to use some, uh, you don't really taste it that much, this is sesame oil. Just put a wee touch of sesame oil on the skin. And into the pan. So when the heat comes up on this, it's going to curl up. But I want to keep the skin in contact with the pan all the time. And I'll show you a wee trick that deals with that. Skin on the mackerel really crisps up a treat. Just salt and pepper. And then to stop it curling up, and it actually helps it cook a bit quicker as well. Just going to lay that tray on it. So all I'm going to have is just the vegetables and the fish. I'm not going to have any rice or anything, any pasta or anything. Because uh, I had quite a big 
heavy burger and chips lunch today so just going to have a light dinner so just to kind of release some of the heat from the bottom of this So just leave that there without breaking it up too much to just drain off. So all you're going to do is put that into the container, put it in the fridge. It's almost cold now. Just put it in the fridge and uh, just take a portion like that and stick it in the microwave for uh, for one minute, and that's it. And it's a really easy way to get a um, to get food to get a portion of vegetables with your dinner. And when you cook the vegetables like that, if you undercook them, even if you sort of uh, or get them cooked just right, they're still very tasty. So just plain vegetables like that are really tasty. So you could be doing it with anything else as well. Any other vegetable that you boil up, carrots, greens, peas. Uh, all that kind of stuff. Potatoes even. Turnips. Swedes. Uh, Mooley. White radish. So I'll take, turn this down to four. So I've got some pork chops, so all I'll do is I, um, I'll just fry one of these chops up, I can put some spices on it or whatever, just fry it up and uh, microwave some vegetables, <coughs> sorry, and it's, uh, it's done, it's easy. It's up four of six, so I've started it quite high, turned it down a bit, but still, it's still a good medium high heat. sesame oil on it, just dress it, a few bit touch of sesame oil, a retouch of soy sauce. Just to uh, just to season it. You know, the light soy sauce is ideal for that kind of job. Um, works really well. So all I'm going to do now you can see how non-stick this pan is. <coughs> Something in my throat. another second I'm going to get a good bit of colour onto that. I'm just going to turn that up to high again for just for another minute or so. That's a wee bit raw there as well. But 
but you know it's going to cook 90% on the skin, really get a good crunch onto the skin. The, the mackerel skin, you don't even need to, um, you don't need to descale it. It sort of doesn't have scales. It's a very smooth skin, and it just it fries up a fries up a tree. Look at the colour on that. It's really really good. It's a little bit underdone. It's a wee bit under that one, it could do with a bit more. Just get it right in the centre, the hottest part. <clears throat> and just quick on the other side, it doesn't take long. See, it's nicely dried. It's dried up. It's dried up nicely. It's okay. It's a wee bit still on under still, but it's okay. See that nice and crispy. So that's done. So that's a nice bit of um just plain cooked mackerel fillet but yeah that way of doing vegetables uh, so now I've got loads of vegetables and if you get those into the fridge as soon as possible like they're ready to go into the fridge now really <clears throat> get them into the fridge now and they'll last quite a few days um, you could last 3-4 days um, in the fridge and uh, you just microwave them just like that uh, for each portion and that's done